This is the part one of the story titled, The Husband I Asked For and The Husband I Caught. There are a lot of challenges today in marriage, leading to breaking of homes and divorce and a lot of things. Then let me ask, are we then going to say that God created marriage in order to bring confusion to humanity? No, God forbid. Before we continue, let us follow the story of this man called Mr. Ebenezer and his wife Angela. Let us see the reason why the story is titled, The Man I Asked For and The Man I Got. This is Angela on phone with Mr. Ebenezer. They on phone call and when you look at them, it looks as if this love will never end. It looks as if she has found everything she's asking for in a man. She can move from one end of the house to the other end of the house. She doesn't mind climbing a tree or rolling on the ground as long as she is on phone call with Mr. Ebenezer, as if she has found the right man. Uh-huh, here we go. Here is Mr. Ebenezer ironing Angela's clothes. Remember, this is before the marriage. He is busy ironing Angela's clothes, taking care of her, cooking food and doing everything for Angela. Each time Angela visits his home, he will never allow Angela to iron her clothes or do anything. Today he got a phone call from Angela's neighbor telling him that Angela is sick that morning and he had to run out to help Angela. He brought Angela home to his house to make sure that she is well cared for, even to the point of carrying her on his arms. Look at what is happening. Look at that. What more do you think that any woman out there can ask for? What more do you think that Angela can ask for? A man that can iron her clothes, take care of her when she is sick, do a lot of things for her? What more do you think that Angela can ask for? Don't worry, let's follow the story. Angela has fully recovered and about to leave. And today, look at that. Mr. Ebenezer is busy polishing Angela's shoe, taking care of her, not just polishing her shoe. See what happens after that. Somebody tell me where we can find this kind of a man, not just to polish the shoe. He polished the shoe and bent down on his knees to put the shoe in Angela's leg. It did not end there. Just take a look and see more. Uh-huh. What did I say? It did not end there. Look at that. A necklace. A necklace with a sign, with a pendant having a sign of love on it. You know, where can we find this kind of a man? Okay, take a look at what he's about to do. Putting the necklace on her neck. Oh my God. Just keep watching. Let's keep watching this story. This story is becoming more interesting. I believe that Angela did not let her go that day because we later saw Angela spreading Mr. Ebenezer's clothes on the block. While that was going on, Mr. Ebenezer came by and was observing Angela happily. You know, when you see what was going on, you feel like getting a partner. You feel like getting married. You feel like having a partner in your life if you don't have anyone. Or you feel like making your own partner behave the way Mr. Ebenezer is behaving if you're a woman and your man is not behaving this way. Let's just follow the story and see what happened. What is he telling her? That he doesn't want her to do any work. He doesn't want her to bother herself. He doesn't want her to, to trouble her strength. He just wants her to get married to him and give him a baby. Oh my God, this is just something else. Okay, now listen. Okay, I don't have more to say now. Let, let's just follow this story and see where this thing is going to. This is right after the wedding. Remember, before the marriage, Angela and Mr. Ebenezer would always be on phone call from morning to evening, even all through the night. They would never get tired of calling each other or being on phone call with each other. But this is right after the wedding. Angela has been outside calling Mr. Ebenezer on phone from morning to night the next day after their wedding, but he is not picking his call. 
He has called and called and called and called and get tired of calling, but he's not picking his calls. Now it is evening. Angela is sleeping outside. The question is this. What is she going to do right now? Is she going to sleep outside? Or is she going to keep calling Mr. Abeniza on phone? Or what is she going to do? Let's see. This is morning. And that means she slept outside. Let's see what happens. Because definitely Mr. Abeniza is going to come back this morning. Let's see what happens. Here he comes. Mr. Abeniza is home. After leaving his wife for over 24 hours after marriage. I wonder what must have kept him away from his wife that he's supposed to prioritize, especially immediately after their wedding or at least few days after their wedding, the wife should be a priority at that moment. I wonder what must have kept him away from his wife. Okay, let's, let's see what happens. Of course, everyone must have excuse because he has started giving his excuses. Now, no matter what has happened, Angela has taken it to be like a normal thing, but I know in her mind, she must be thinking a lot of things. Now, the question is this, do you think that Mr. Ebenezer has a good reason for leaving his wife immediately after wedding and spend over 24 hours outside this home? Do you think he has a good reason for that? Or do you think that this man is about to change? What do you think that lies ahead for Angela in this marriage? Please, I need your own contribution. Help us to expand this story because we are coming up with a part two of this story. Help us to expand this story and tell us what you think that is going to happen in future in this marriage. See you next time with a part two of this story. Thank you. And don't forget, this is House of the Suns Global. Bye for now.